tonight, the North races for the biggest cyclone in Australia's history. Thousands of residents flee their homes in coastal areas. And has failed to take a bigger hit than Cyclone Larry. Disaster management teams plan how to pick up the pieces. Good evening. Thanks very much for joining us for this special 7 Local News edition. Good evening. Well, thousands of residents from Cooktown to Mackay are bracing themselves for the most powerful storm in nearly a century. Category 5 Cyclone Yassi has been described as the daddy of them all. It's expected to make landfall between Innisfail and Cardwell later tonight, bringing winds of up to 300 kilometres an hour and 700 millimetres of rain. Trent Evans begins our coverage. Residents woke to news they didn't want to hear. Cyclone Yassi had grown to a Category 5 system and was unlikely to lose momentum on its path to the coast. The next 24 hours uh, is going to be, frankly, a very terrifying 24 hours. The storm... Townsville has begun to feel the effects as Cyclone Yassi nears the coast. Locals spent the day preparing, with up to 60,000 people evacuated from their homes. Hordes of people worked frantically. Bags filled as quickly as the sand was dumped. The horrific wind and rain, it's the so-called storm surge that meteorologists are most concerned about. This is the dome of seawater that builds up from wind drag ahead of the cyclone, which can raise the sea level several metres above the normal tide. Now, if the peak of the surge coincides with tonight's high tide, much of the shoreline will go underwater. So we're desperately hoping for a late arrival. Back to you, Joe. Thanks for that, Livio. And Livio will have more details on Yassi later in the bulletin. A fierce storm surge could wipe out Townsville's marina tonight, with boaties ordered to evacuate. Businesses along the waterfront are at the mercy of nature. It was a last-minute dash to the shops. The roller doors came down at Woolworths as dozens stocked up on supplies. The winds are really picking up here in Townsville. Castle Hill residents have been warned of a possible landslide, while those along the waterfront fear flooding. Meanwhile, Premier Anna Bly and authorities in Brisbane are assuring residents the state will support them through this crisis. A stoic Premier is leading the state through yet another disaster. Fresh from the floods, Anna Bly is now warning Queensland to brace for Yassi. Well, those who lived through the devastation of Cyclone Larry fear Yassi will be more destructive. High winds and storm surges are likely to pound the Cassowary Coast. Locals are taking refuge wherever they can. High winds pounded Mission Beach this morning. It's a breeze compared to what's to come. Tourists were bussed out yesterday. Those who remain are preparing for a major assault. Hundreds of people have been turned away from overflowing evacuation centres across North Queensland. Those who made it inside emergency accommodation, including schools and shopping centres, are praying they'll be safe. They sought refuge but met rejection. Desperation settled in as gates to evacuation centres closed. People relocating or being evacuated from the path of Cyclone Yassi are urged to let authorities know. A special hotline has been established for people to register their details. The number to call is 1300 993 191. The mayors of Cairns and Townsville have warned the damage caused by Yassi could be double the cost of Cyclone Larry. Luke McGarry spoke to Cairns Mayor Val Shear at Warree's Disaster Coordination Centre. Well, the harsh reality of Cyclone Yassi is just about upon us and I'm here with the Mayor of Cairns and Val... Um, what can we expect Cairns to look like at about 24 hours' time and what preparations are in place? Uh, I expect in 24 hours' time there'll be a scenes of widespread uh, devastation. Uh, there'll be trees down, there'll be power lines down, uh, there'll be garden sheds uh, disappeared, there may be roofs missing from houses, uh, but there'll certainly the place will look as if uh, it's, uh, it, it's endured a, a massive storm, which is what it will have done. We can't predict what it's going to cost because uh, we don't know uh, the extent of the damage at this uh, stage, but we do know that this is of higher intensity than Cyclone Larry was, and it is a much broader front, uh, so more communities are going to be damaged. Thanks, Val. And uh, we now cross to Townsville, where the Mayor spoke to the local media earlier today. 
We haven't seen a weather event uh, like this in, in total. Uh, certainly uh, the effects north of us will be more than anything we've ever seen before. Uh, certainly the strength of Larry at, uh, at Category 5, but a much bigger system than, than Larry. Uh, 1971, of course, we had the cyclone through Townsville. Uh, I, uh, I think that was probably Category 3-4. Uh, things have changed a lot since then. Uh, the, the landscape has changed. Uh, uh, there's probably been um, 100,000 extra people uh, come to the city to live in that time. So uh, whilst we can learn from what happened then, certainly we can't let it guide us as to what might happen this time. And further south, dozens of people living in low-lying parts of the Whit Sundays have heeded warnings and left amid fears of storm surges. Power has already been cut to some parts of Airlie Beach. Winds picked up in Mackay and provided ideal conditions for these kite surfers. But Mayor Cole Meng warns this is not the time for thrill seekers. With tonight's weather. Not much left to say except stay inside and don't come out until tomorrow. Everything we've heard so far about Yassi is about to come true. So take a deep breath and stay close to your wireless for further updates. The very latest on Yassi still Category 5, around 220 kilometres east of Cairns with a crossing expected between Innisfail and Carnival around 11pm. The cyclone should survive a further 24 hours before collapsing into an abyss of inland rain. Temperatures are becoming quite rain affected as Yassi approaches, generally moderate with above average humidity. Now let's look at the satellite loop. There's a cyclone sitting there, has a very well defined eye and I think most importantly it has a much larger core than I've ever seen in a cyclone. So the area of hurricane force winds surrounding the eye is very, very broad which means hundreds of kilometre radius, if you like, of potentially destructive winds as that thing is moving just a few hours away now from the coast. On today's chart you can see the big storm now, massive system now of course at the moment the cyclone warning extends from Cape Flattery to Serena but the most likely path taken over the next six or so hours is between about Innisfail and Cardwell crossing as a Category 5 system. Of course it's on the southern side of the storm that you can expect the biggest storm surges because that's where in fact all the wind is driving the, uh, the water to one side and building up that dome. On tomorrow's chart, very quickly, the cyclone moves inland, dumping loads of rain through the Atherton Tablelands and into the central interior. It has to go down five categories before we change it back into a low. And on the outlook chart, further into the Northern Territory, continuing to produce lots of rain right through central and northern Queensland. Meanwhile, just a few showers in the southeast. And now the official forecast from the Bureau in coastal waters from Cooktown to Cardwell. Hurricane force winds, that's over 64 knots expected south of Cairns, 30 to 40 knots in the north, and then easing tomorrow. From Cardwell to Bowen, hurricane warning for the morning, but winds easing to 20 to 30 knots during the day as the cyclone heads inland, much lighter on Friday, Saturday. And from Bowen to St Lawrence, we've got strong gales tomorrow north of Serena, they'll ease in the afternoon, and then 20 to 30 knots further south, also easing later. The North Tropical Coast and Tablelands, heavy rain through the night with very destructive winds south of Port Douglas. Conditions should start to ease tomorrow. The Herbert and Noah Burdekin, cyclonic conditions throughout the district overnight with driving rain, generally easing though through the course of tomorrow. The Central Coast and Whitsundays, a tropical cyclone warnings current north of Serena only, but heavy rain should ease tomorrow, just showers expected in the south. Tomorrow's tops, 23 to 28 degrees in Cairns, Townsville also 28, Mackay heading for 28 as well. That's all for now, my friends. Stay calm and safe. We'll see where we stand in the morning. Back to the